Bruno Lage got sacked. It looks like Wolves have finally got their manager. And Lopetegui looks like he's going to be appointed. I'm happy with this. Uh, I do have some concerns, if I'm being totally honest. I think it's a good appointment generally. I think he'll keep us up. I mean, I think anyone would have kept us up, to be honest. But I do have some concerns about Lopetegui. Now, I think, look, with Wolves, um, I think he'll keep us up. I think we'll be fine. My only concern is, do Wolves fans actually know what they're getting with Lopetegui? And will that kind of affect it? Because, look, during Lopetegui side score a lot of set pieces. They're quite defensive and they're quite slow. And look, just because he played like that at Sevilla doesn't mean he'll do it at Wolves. But I can only really go off what he's done at Sevilla because that's his most recent job. And, you know, when you look at some of the numbers in from his final full season, this isn't the season just gone or that's happening right now where obviously they're in the relegation zone or whatever. But if you, if you look last season in terms of shots, this is a side that finished fourth, by the way. You know, for a side that finished fourth, they had like the 11th most shots in La Liga. Their XG was really low. Um, they scored the most set piece goals, which never. Don't we need to score more set pieces? But you don't want to be reliant on set pieces necessarily. And if you look at like the speed of their attacks, just for context, this is the Premier League one from last season. Obviously, Man City are quite slow in their build up. They make a lot of passes in, in their sequences, and it's not really direct. You know, whereas Burnley on the other side, you know, punt a lot of long balls, don't really make a lot of passes. Wolves obviously were in the middle last season because we were kind of much of a nothingness. Um, you know, Lopetegui Lop Sevilla were the, were the slowest side in La Liga, and that's in the Spanish league, which is a notoriously slow league. Um, and it was quite slow football, and that's fine. I've got no issue with that. But if he tries to do that in the Premier League with Wolves fans, we all know what Wolves fans are like. And if it doesn't start well, and we lose the first couple of games and don't score, and we're trying to play this slow out of the back football with Lopetegui, it does concern me a bit that Wolves fans will turn quite quickly. Um, and look, I'm not saying it will happen or anything, but that is my one kind of big concern. It is slow possession football. It's not like some high pressing mad football, which is fine. I've got no issue with that. It's probably what we need. Probably need some discipline just to get back to basics. But it does concern me how Wolves fans will react to that. Um, you could make the argument this is just like a Mendes boring, you know, something we've planned for for a while. I'm kind of playing devil's advocate here, but it's a fair enough thing to explore. You know, it's not really like the Michael Beale thing. At least Wolves are going for managers that pay 4 for you 3 though. Um, but that does concern me. The style of football, I have no issue with. But will, will Wolves fans have an issue with that? I don't know. Um, he's not an attacking manager, I guess. Um, and I guess the other thing is how it ended at Sevilla. You can maybe make that argument. I kind of disagree with it, but I think you kind of have to put it out there. It did end really badly. I think you can play Dels Ab for, for that. You know, when when you're losing Jules Kunde and you're replacing him with a guy at the Turkish League, and you're signing a, a, a guy in Isco who's passed it and Alex Tellers, it's not really like a great window, is it? And sometimes things just come to an end. And when, when you look at that severe side he had in his final year, <clears throat> which obviously got into the Champions League, that squad's old, man. <laughs> like, Diego Carlos isn't very good and he's old. Jesus Navas is 36. Acuna's old. Fernando's old. Rakitic is old. Rafa is not very good. Papu Gomez is old. Lucas Acampos isn't very good. You know, that's not a good squad. Like, I genuinely believe... If that squad was in the Premier League right now, it'd finish tenth, maybe. Like, if you said to me, "How many of those players do you want at Wolves right now?" I'd say Jules Kunde. I'd say Joan Jordan, and that's kind of it. Maybe I'm being harsh, but like, it's not a great squad, um, and it hasn't really, you know, there was those issues in Monchi and stuff. And I think when you ask, you know, I was, I was reading from Severe fans when he got sacked, and most of them were saying it wasn't really his fault. So, I think there are. Um, mitigating circumstances. But anyway, let's get on to the positives because there are positives right Lopetti. He's a big name. He's managed big clubs before. He's always had a good defence, which I think we need to get to. We need to get back to a bit. You know, by all accounts, his football is very reliant on fullbacks, which is probably Wolves' best area right now. You know, I know Johnny's dropped off a little bit, but he's still a good player. I rate Aitnuri. Nuri. I rate Hugo Bueno. I rate Nelson Semedo. I think that will suit Wolves a little bit. Um, you know, I think I think the the core elements of this Wolves squad are there and like. Look, you know, if you speak to my most of our fans, they act like our squad's terrible. Um, and, you know, it's not, it's not shown that it's good this season, but there is talent in there. And the thing is, with a new manager, like, I saw someone on Twitter say, oh, Lopetegui's a good appointment, but, like, at the end of the day, the squad's not good enough, we'll get relegated. <clears throat> and, like, I think what pe people have to remember is when a new manager comes in, things change. Like, Conor Cody's a great example of that. Miguel Almiron right now is a great example of that. Like sometimes players just look crap and then all of a sudden become good. For we know, like Lopetegui could bin off Daniel Pedence and and Nunes and make Huang and Bubakar Traore look incredible or something. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't 
a new manager will get something out of players that aren't doing well and maybe drop some players that were. So this whole thing that like people are acting like our squad's terrible, it's not terrible. We have a good squad. And Julian Lopetegui is at worst a competent manager who's had a good win rate wherever he's been. We're not getting relegated. <clears throat> I think I personally think we could have stuck with Steve Davis the whole season and we wouldn't have got relegated anyway. Personally, that's just my opinion. I think the squad's too good. But even with a guy with Lopetegui's record, we're not getting relegated. I think we've basically kept the club up by doing this, unless there are some really deep-rooted issues that we don't know about. I think Lopetegui is a good enough manager to kind of make a solution out of this. Um, I think it's interesting that we've apparent, Lopetegui's apparently instigated the talks. I would have rather it been the other way around and we kind of had to twerk for him a little bit. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and you can't say Fosun haven't planned for this. You know what I mean? Like Lopetegui's been a long-term target. And you could say you could make it that both ways and say it's boring, but at least Wolves have, like, had a succession plan and they've been patient. And it's it's looked like a bit of a fiasco. We've all seen the Mick Beale stuff. Um, and you could say maybe is Lopetegui the guy to bridge the gap to, like, the top six in a couple of years? Maybe not. But he'll keep us up. He suits the squad we've got. He's proven himself at a good level. He's won things. He can speak the language. He's, he'll probably sort the defence out. And if we bring in an attacker or two, or two in, in the winter window, I think we'll be fine. And, you know, given the situation we're in right now, I don't think we will get relegated. But he's good enough to comfortably get us 12th or something. You know, the guy's done, been, bar well, obviously, at Real Madrid, he's done it where he's been. You know, he got Sevilla their best ever points tally, won Europa League. You know, he was unbeaten when he was Spain manager. He got Porters to a Europa League quarterfinal, so Champions League quarterfinal. This is a good manager. And do I think it's like the best appointment ever? No. Does it excite me loads? No. But it's a good appointment. It will keep us up pretty comfortably. And it was just nice to be have, kind of have a plan for once. And I think people will get behind him, assuming the football kind of clicks quickly. That's my one concern. If the football doesn't click straight away, I can see Wolves fans getting frustrated. Um, but hopefully the World Cup break will help with that. But um, yeah, overall, I'm happy with the appointment overall. I don't think it's perfect, but overall, I think it's a good appointment. Um, enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And yeah, peace.